In this video, basically, we are starting from exercise 15b and the question number 7 onwards will be solved. Previous questions have been solved in the previous lesson. So, starting from question number 7, a class has 16 boys and 24 girls. So, we have a class in which we have 16 boys and number of girls are 24. Of the 16 boys, 3 are left handed. Okay, from boys, 3 are left handed. Then, how many are right handed? Obviously, 13 right handed. Of the 24 girls, 2 are left handed. 2 are left handed, then 22 are right handed. If a student is chosen at random to clean the whiteboard, okay, a student is to clean the whiteboard, find the probability that the student is a boy. Well, we have to find the probability that the student is a boy and as you know the probability is number of favorable outcome divided by divided by total number of outcome well what is meant by favorable outcome total number of outcome okay favorable outcome mean you are talking you are looking for a boy no in the class we have 16 boys so your favorable outcome that is a boy is there to clean the whiteboard we have 16 while total number of outcomes are 16 and 24 mean you will add boys and girls and that is 40 after simplification you can do simplification 4 4 times 16 4 10 times 40 and then 2 by 5 so this is the answer the probability that a boy will clean the whiteboard the second one is find the probability that the student now the student is left handed. Now the student may be a boy or a girl. So you have to find the probability that your student is left handed. And using the same formula. So how many left handed students do we have? We have three left handed students from boys and two from girls. In total we have three plus two, five left-handed students out of 40 the total number of students that is 1 by 8 the probability that a left-handed student will clean the whiteboard part 2 is the student chosen to clean the whiteboard in a okay in part a the student chosen to clean the whiteboard is a girl who is not left handed I mean we are talking about this one this one because the girl that is not left handed so we have 22 girls that are not left handed now another student is selected at random from the remaining students to borrow the visualizer from the class next door now find the probability that the student is part A, sorry part 1. The part 1 is a boy who is left handed. So you need to understand this question. The question is a bit tricky. Well it's easy. Now you have to find the probability that 
a student who is chosen to borrow a realizer from the class next door now that is a boy that is a boy and the boy is left handed okay no uh, no as far as this is concerned the favorable outcomes are quite clear a boy who is left handed you know, that is three three boys are left handed now there is a bit variation in total number of outcomes right now because because we have chosen a girl we have chosen a student who is a girl uh, and 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 the girl is not left handed mean out of these 22 girls out of these 22 one is chosen for whiteboard who is going to clean the whiteboard this is this is discussed here that the student chosen to clean the whiteboard is a girl who is not left handed so these are the left handed girls uh, while 22 are right handed out of these 22 one is fixed one is chosen for the white board duty no when one is chosen one is one is taken aside for the white board uh, who is going to clean the white board then then obviously total students were 40 16 plus 24 and out of them when one is taken outside for the white board the rest of the students will be 39 from where you have to choose and you have to send to borrow the realizer from the class next door so 3 out of 39 because one girl is fixed for whiteboard so that is no more included in this probability that girl is no more part of this uh, probability so 3 over 39 will give you 1 over 13 and part 2 is a girl who is not left handed well we have to choose a girl probability that there is a girl who is going to borrow the realizer from the class next door but that girl should not be should not be left handed so that should be right handed okay if if she is not left handed obviously she is right handed now what about this now we have 22 right handed girls out of total number of girls but from this one from this one one right handed girl is on white board duty so out of 22 we have 21 girls from where to choose a girl who is to borrow the realizer from the class next door so 21 while total number of students are 39 one is taken aside for the white board so out of 40 one is taken out left is 39 that is 37 times 21 313 times 39 so this is the solution for question number 7 question number 8 is Santa has 3H plus 11 red presents. Okay, so uh, we have presents out of these. Uh, there are 3H plus 11 red presents and uh, H plus 5 white presents. No. Ethan selects a present at random from the stocking. No, you have to select a present from the stock, given that the probability that he obtains a red present. No, the probability of obtaining a red present. No, that is given. That is nineteen by twenty-six. so we have to find the value of h now writing the formula for probability of red present the probability of red present is a uh, number of chances of uh, having red present divided by total number of outcomes total number of outcomes so the probability of red present of choosing red present is 19 by 26 that is equal to number of chances of 
having a, a red present let me write over here red and that is what 3h plus 11 divided by total number of outcomes are you are going to add red and white presents that is 3h plus 11 plus h plus 5 this is total number of outcomes from here it is 19 by 26 is equal to 3h plus 11 divided by 3h plus h is 4h 11 plus 5 is 16 now cross multiply 19 into 4h plus 16 is equal to 26 into 3h plus 11 okay 19 into 4h is 76h plus 19 into 16 19 into 16 will give you 304 304 equals to 26 into 3h is 78h okay and uh, 26 into 11 will give you 26 into 11 286 26 into 11 is 286 you can solve this for h move 76 h on the right side move 26 on the left side so 304 minus 286 is equal to 78 h minus 76 h okay so 304 minus 286 is 18 and 78 h minus 76 h is 2 h from here you can find the value of h that is 18 by 2 that is equal to 9 so this is solution for question number 8 so this was solution up to question number 8 of exercise 15b uh, in the next lesson i will upload the rest of the question from exercise 15b thank you so much